All right, welcome back. This is the third iteration of the Chili Willies cooking channel. And today what we're gonna prepare for you is our original chili recipe. The original chili that we made in 1983 at Chili Willies. You know, when I was doing the recipes and the menu for Chili Willies, I had everything in place. But what I didn't, what I hadn't finished yet was the chili recipe. And I didn't know exactly what I wanted to make it as. I didn't know whether it was gonna be a Texas style, whether it was gonna have tomatoes in it, or how it was gonna go. So I finally decided that I would have cubed beef, I would have a chorizo uh, as a ground product in it, I would of course have onions and garlic in it, I would have a lot of tomato products in it, I'd have a great deal of spices uh, in it, and then I would also have beans. Yes, beans. And for a Texan, beans is blasphemy in chili. In our Texas Red a recipe, you know that there was no beans in that one. But in the original chili, there was beans in it. So let's look at our mise en place here. The first item is cubed beef. So people will ask, what kind of beef should I use? And what you might consider is top round is a good choice. It's nice and lean. Bottom round is another lean cut. Uh, you could use chuck, but you have to be careful because there's some fat in there and it will render some fat. So I'm actually recommending some top round for that. And then we have diced onions. You can see about how large a quantity and the size of the diced onions. Then we have our canned products here. We have stewed tomatoes, and we parade these stewed tomatoes to have a nice smooth texture here. We used a crushed tomato, in this case Hunt's crushed tomato. We used dice green chilies, and these are mild green chilies, so you don't need a lot of heat with them. We used two kinds of beans. You can see here that we have dark red kidney beans, and then we have pinto beans. And then we have our spice blend, starting with ground Mexican oregano, dried cilantro, garlic powder, paprika, which gives a nice bright color to the chili. We have tres ochos, which is, uh, means three eighths. And it was a name given to this ground red New Mexico chili that Pendry's uh, is where we purchase this. People have asked, well, how do I get uh, tres ochos for some of the recipes and go to pendries.com. You can order it from them. If you can't find it or don't want to, you can always use paprika. We have ground cumin. And then the chili powder that we used is Pendry's dark no salt blend chili blend. So you can see how dark that is. It's got a lot of ancho chili in it and it's a very hearty, but not really hot, chili powder. And the last piece that we have here is chorizo. This chorizo, you will remember that we made for the Texas Red our own chorizo there. Put it into a mixing bowl, added our spices, uh, our herbs, we added red wine vinegar to it, a little bit of olive oil, some onion, and then we mixed it up. This is pretty much the same chorizo with the exception that it has a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of clove in it, so a little bit of sweet spice. The recipe calls that you'll find on chiliwilly.com for a two pound recipe of chorizo. This chili only needs one pound. So why make two pounds of it? Because it's so good. And when you have eggs in the morning and fry up some of that chorizo, you'll forget about bacon. You'll love your chorizo to use for other things. So make two pounds of it. So there's all of our mise en place, all of our ingredients, and let's start making our chili over here by starting to fry off 
our chorizo. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do here in our Dutch oven is we're going to fry up our chorizo. And this is a one pound of chorizo that we've made. We'll add a little oil into the pot. Oh wow, I know you can't smell this, but the smells coming off this chorizo are just awesome. It's uh, really great, good spicing to it. And if you make chorizo, it's always better to make it the day before and let it rest in the refrigerator. That lets all those flavors, the spices and everything to meld together. And then you come out with this kind of great, great, aromas. All right, now, now that we've got it fried up, let's go ahead and set it aside. Now we're gonna saute our onions in this same Dutch oven. We'll add a little bit more oil to the pot. All right, our onions are starting to soften up here. You can see how they're starting to get a little bit translucent. And we're going to add our cubed beef to the pot. Just like we did with the Texas Red, we're gonna cook this meat until it's grayed on the outside, not really browned. And the reason for that is if we brown the meat, then flavors will not get inside the cube meat itself. So we're gonna just basically toss this until it's all grayed up, and then we'll start adding our products to it. And this process of tossing and, and graying the meat will take four to five minutes. All right, we've been tossing this, turning it about, and you can see how the meat is grayed in color, but you can still see a little bit of pink here, that's okay. What we're trying to do is just partially cook this meat and then it will absorb a lot of the flavors, uh, the spice flavors, and also the acid from the tomato, which will serve to tenderize it. Now then, let's add the chorizo back into the pot. All right, the next thing we're going to add will be all of our dry spices. We'll do our no salt chili blend, tres ochos, paprika, cumin, garlic powder, ground Mexican oregano, and our dried cilantro. All those spices are blending in there. Oh, and the aromas are great. Now, let's add our tomato products. We have crushed tomatoes. We have pureed stewed tomatoes. We'll add our diced green chilies.
And the last chili that we're going to add are some sliced pickled jalapenos. This will definitely pick up the heat level. really thick. Now then, the last canned ingredient that we did not add were the beans. No pinto or dark red kidney beans. We'll wait to add those last half an hour of the cooking time. And at that point, we'll probably be taking off some of the fat that will rise to the top and then we'll reheat with those beans and that will finish up our chili. So, let's put the pot on, or the lid back on the pot. Let's let this get up to a boil and then we're gonna lower the heat and we're gonna cook it for about one hour. All right, we've been cooking for about an hour now and we should have a pretty good, oh yeah, we've got, a, a, we got an oil slick going on here. So what we need to do is skim that off. Most of this fat has come from the chorizo, not really from the beef. But remember, fat transports flavor, so you do want some. And another thing about making chili, particularly this one, is it's always better the second day. Put it in the refrigerator and more fat will come to the top if you really are conscious about how much fat that you're consuming. So, like I said, chili's always better the second day. Okay, now we can add both our dark red kidney beans. And our pinto beans. Now this chili is pretty thoroughly cooked now. The meat itself is pretty much fall apart tender. Yeah. And we'll let the beans heat up in the chili, which will take us about 20 minutes. And at that point, we'll let the chili rest for about 10 minutes and we'll be ready. So put the, put the top back on the pot. All right, so we have let our chili here cook for 20 minutes to get the beans nice and hot. Then we've let it rest for 10 minutes. And here, let's take the top off. Oh yeah, we've got some, it's rested. It's still kind of bubbly, as you see. See how thick, what a stew-like chili this really is. See the cube meat in there and all the beans, tomatoes, green chilies. So we're going to serve this just like we did in Chili Willies. Big old hearty bowl of red. We topped it with grated cheddar cheese. Just like that. A dollop of sour cream and two buttered flour tortillas. So there's Chili Willie's original red, served the way we used to serve it at the restaurant. You know, there's a story that a doctor tells us here that in his days at Marshall as an undergrad, that this bowl of chili got him through undergrad school because it was an inexpensive way for him to come have a hearty meal. And at the time, we actually gave refills with it. And he says that's what he got him through school. So doctor, we're glad you made it through school. 
and today he's practicing here in Huntington. So, so that's our original red, or original chili from Chili Willies. Um, we hope that you enjoyed seeing how it was made and hear the story of the original chili. We hope that you like it so much that you share it with other friends and please subscribe to the Chili Willies channel. You'll be able to find the recipe on chiliwilly.com or chiliwillies.com for on a PDF and there'll also be the recipe for the chorizo there as well. This is a two pound recipe. It serves about 20 people, but we will also put on there a four pound recipe for all those people who want to do a really big tailgate and want to have some original chili there. So thanks so much for watching. Look forward to our next time. Until then, good cooking.